Okay, let's look at monopoly. How do we draw zero economic profit, super normal profit, and economic loss for monopoly? Okay, first you just draw that's the initial situation. Look at zero economic profit. Draw your graph. Draw your demand curve. Draw your marginal revenue curve. Draw your marginal cost curve. Right. To find Q star, we set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Over here, Q star. To find price, we move up our demand curve. There you go. P star. Okay. Also at this point, price must equal ATC if we have to have zero economic profit. Okay. So what must happen is that average total cost curve must touch this point over here to have zero economic profit. So average total cost curve must touch that point, continues to fall, touches the marginal cost curve, starts to go up. This firm, price equals average total cost over there. Price equals average total cost, zero economic profit. Okay, so that is zero economic profit. Now I can look at the situation of super normal profit. Super normal economic profit. Draw your graph. Demand curve, marginal revenue curve, marginal cost curve, and then you set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost to find Q1, just like you did earlier, Q star, move up the line, touch the demand curve, and you get the price, P star. Now, for super normal economic profit, price must be greater than average total cost at Q star. So you got to draw it in such a way to show me that. So price, average total cost is behind, continues to fall, touches marginal cost and goes up. Okay, so this firm is making a super normal profit equal to this area over here. Super normal profit for the monopolist. And then we can look at the situation of economic loss. Draw your curve. Demand curve. Marginal revenue curve. Marginal cost curve. Set marginal cost equal to marginal revenue. Find Q1 or Q star. Move up along, touch the demand curve. You get P star. For economic loss, price must be less than average total cost at Q star. So again, draw it in such a way to ensure that that happens. Average total cost is on top, continues to fall. Touches the MC curve, moves up. And this firm will be making an economic loss equal to this area over here. Okay, And there's no difference between short run and long run for monopoly. So if you're making a short run economic loss or a short run economic profit or even short run zero economic profit, it can continue in the long run because there are barriers to entry. Okay, Other firms simply cannot enter and start up in your industry, barriers to entry.